What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller. And happy Thanksgiving. Giving. Giving. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Come, 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 come. Happy Turkey Day. Turkey There's a day. G. Turkey There's a G on the end of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. And I'm glad to see that our uh, craftily amazing graphics crew went to so much work to give us some... Thanksgiving themed beats. We're still in space. We're always in outer space. I have a scarf on. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. Yeah, and yeah. nobody did anything to dress up the graphics. They have the powerful. impact guys. They have they have a turkey. They have uh, the thing with the thing coming out of the Yes. Where's the turkey costume? I don't know. I know. I think Eli Drake costume. is still running around in well, that um, I in need to LA talk, I need to talk at to him. night. I need See to talk what I to did him. There? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes. You wanna wear the Yeah, next year I'm in the turkey costume. I'm calling it. Eli Drake. You think you're still gonna work here next year? Yeah, I still have a year left on my contract, Josh. <laughs> but anyway, we gotta get to the action, Josh. We... We're having a good time. It's Thanksgiving. Yeah, and I'm, I'm thankful full. for you. I wish we had some loungers or something, Ooh. like some nice chairs. Can you get us to the thing from yeah, uh, Overdrive? Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna look at my phone, see what Go everyone's doing on Thanksgiving. Well, I'm thankful so for many... an awesome main event from messages. Overdrive. It was Josh Alexander. He defend his impact I world. Did. Defended. He, are you not putting the end of any word on anything? I said he would defend. You said he defend. He defend. He defend. He defended the his world impact champion. world championship do do this? against AEW's Frankie Kazarian. Take us back. Uh oh. What are the C4 spike? Shoulders oh, down. Shoulders down. Yeah. Alexander just gets off the canvas. Just in time. Decides better of it. Rolling through, floating over. C4 spike, got him! Cover! Alexander beats Kazarian! Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner. And still, Impact World Champion, The Walking Weapon, Josh Alexander! Josh Alexander! wins another big one here at Overdrive after a stellar effort for Frankie Kazarian. Both men pushed each other to the limits, had a counter, had an answer for everything the other had in their arsenal, in their playbook. Jen and Jen looking on at ringside here tonight in Overdrive, supporting Josh Alexander through it all. I'm challenging you at Hard to Kill. Friday the 13th of January in Atlanta. Bully Ray, Josh Alexander, straight up for the Impact World Championship. If you shake my hand, that means you accept. Bully Ray living up to his word, telling Alexander he was gonna see it coming from a mile away. And now we know, Friday the 13th of January, in Atlanta, live on pay-per-view and Fight TV, Bully Ray and Josh Alexander for the Impact World Championship at Hard to Kill. Well, despite all this, but we're oh, oh, wait, my what? God! Take your hands off a 
Jenny. No, 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 don't move. Don't move. Don't move. You move. She takes the country. I pile driver on the country. Don't move. Don't move. No, 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 don't move. Don't move. Go get your championship. Get your championship. Get on the championship. Get on the championship. Put your belt down. Hand me your belt. Hand me your belt. Hand it to me. I swear to God, Josh. I swear. No, 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 no. Hand it to me. Hand it to me. Back up. Back up. Just a damn boss. came out with the trophy and he said, I'm gonna call my shot. January 13th in Atlanta, hard to kill. First pay-per-view 2023. And then I should have ended. And then it didn't. You know what my mom always said is, shoes don't stretch and men don't change. I mean, I don't know what the hell that means, but it sounds like it makes a lot of sense. And, and Bully did not change. He stayed exactly true to what we all know about Bully and what we've known about Bully for years. He's only out for himself. And he's gonna look to become world champion at hard to kill on January the 13th. But still to come here on BTI, Shira and Raj Singh versus Delirious and Yuya Yuimura. Plus more from Overdrive when BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI. Hope you all had a great Thanksgiving holiday as we get ready for what is going to be an awesome night on Impact Wrestling. We're gonna look back at all the great memories from Thanksgiving past. And you know that comes with the turkey suit, you know that comes with the turkey trot, you know that comes with a lot of nonsense that took place over Thanksgiving, over the years here in Impact Wrestling. But what wasn't nonsense was what we saw this past weekend at Overdrive. We already showed you the main event, we showed you what Bully Ray's gonna do, we showed you what's gonna happen on January the 13th at Hard to Kill. But the night did start also with Bully Ray as he clashed with Moose in a tables match. Oh. Straight right hand Come on, Moose. Come on. from Bully Ray. Oh. Moose with an answer in kind. Oh. Moose has said that he's modeled his career after the actions of Bully Ray. Moose calls himself a scumbag because he's seen how Bully Ray is conducting himself. So the question is, how far down is Moose willing to stoop? We've seen Moose stoop pretty damn low. And he is proud of that fact. He's proud of being a scumbag. And he feels like that's who Bully Ray really is. He's not buying into this redemption tour. Uh -oh. Oh, 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 wait a minute. Wait, what? Bully bomb and Moose broke up the bully bomb. I don't think I've ever seen that. Absolutely. Bully Ray back up to his feet. Has got Moose in his sights. Bully Ray, oh, oh. Bully Ray through the table. But the official signifying, that's not the end of the matchup. Moose wants his hand raised, but listen, Moose, Moose was not the one who drove Bully Ray oh. through the table. Moose never made contact with Bully Ray. Bully sent himself through the table going for the spear. And Moose is very frustrated. I mean, it's his first time in these matchup, in this kind of a matchup. Now he's got to come up with a new strategy. Listen, the match will continue. You have to drive your opponent through a table in order to win. And now Moose once again setting up a table in the corner here. Luck has often been on the side of the wrestling guy in his career. But Moose, in this one, it won't be about luck. 
It has all got to be about you. And now Moose trying to toss Bully Ray into the table here. And now Moose, whoa, avoids catastrophe. Oh! Oh! Well, no pun intended, but Bully has made quite an impact since returning here to Impact Wrestling. I thought you were gonna do something with tables, Thanksgiving table, oh, tables, set the we, table, we put Moose through a table, but nonetheless, it's all right, yeah, it's all we're good. We're serving up Moose. Serving up two, Moose. Instead of turkey. Wow, I don't know if you can feed or eat Moose. Uh, yeah, the Canadians might get on to me for that one. They might get on to you for that one. We're gonna leave all that alone. We're gonna take you back to Overdrive, the X Division Championship on the line. It was the finals of the tournament. Black Taurus clashing with Trey Miguel. Oh! And the Bulls gotta fall into steam on the knee into the top turnbuckle, exposed the knee pad, went for the knee strike in the corner and rammed into the turnbuckle. Taurus paid for that one. Here goes Miguel. Oh, Miguel. And now Mikhail tossing Tarus back inside the ring. Wants to put this one away right now. Meteor got him! Cover! Oh, and a kick out! It continues! Take a look at this beautiful Hurt Karana off the dive. And then not only that, perfectly planted Meteor oh. to block Tarus, but somehow the bowl stays in it. The way that Trey Miguel has won so many big matches throughout his career, the Meteora, and ultimately, Tarus kicks out. And there's gotta be frustration building in both athletes. What do they have to do? Well, it's time for the lightning spiral. This has worked to success for Trey Miguel recently. Oh my God, wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, hold on a second, up on the shoulders of Tarus. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad territory here, oh, oh my god! Both men to the outside! Almost like a reverse Rana over the ropes there. Bringing both men to the floor. And now Trey Miguel and Black Tarus on the outside. On Miguel. Once again looking for that Hurricane Rana. Tarus saw it coming uh -oh. though. Oh! Jeez! Fine first into the post! Oh my God! You hear the guttural roar from Black Tarus after he nearly just bent the spine of Trey Miguel on that steel post. A ton of damage just done to Trey Miguel. How much more can he last here in this matchup? He's been through everything. The hell? Oh my God! What? Congratulations to Trey, but I didn't think he was capable of something like that, but I guess the X Division Championship really meant that much to him. Never meet your heroes, folks, because they will let you down, and I think Trey Miguel let down a lot of his fans this past weekend at Overdrive, but he did get the job done. He used the spray paint right to the eyes of Black Taurus. Trey Miguel is your new X Division Champion, but I will say this, Trey Miguel has a lot of explaining to do for his actions at Overdrive. Still to come on BTI, Shira and Raj Singh versus Delirious and Yuya Yuimura. Plus more from Overdrive. Don't go anywhere. BTI rolls on right after this. 
Welcome back to BTI. We're getting closer to Impact Wrestling, where Tom and Matt will take you through the history of Thanksgiving and Impact Wrestling. It is a entertaining story, to say the least, and we can't wait to take a look at that tonight. We still have action right here on BTI, but we have plenty to get to, including more from Overdrive this past weekend. Yeah, and one of those things we have to talk about was the last knockouts standing match between Jordan Grace and Masha Slamovich for the Impact Knockouts World Championship. Who would be the one left standing? Who would walk out as knockouts champion? Masha Slamovich getting real creative here. The Van Gogh of violence that is Masha Slamovich has some bad intentions on her mind. Is that a toilet seat? That might be a metaphor for what she thinks of Jordan Grace. I'll let you fill in the blanks. Oh, but hey, that oh, works by the, too. Oh, by a throw. By a throw is Jordan Grace. What is in the mind of Masha Sandwich? Whoa! He's trying to set up for the snow plow. No, the great strider. You're right. Little you're right. insult to injury here. Can you imagine if that's how Masha Slamovich won the knockout world title? Face first into the steel post. This has been an absolute knockdown, drag out fight. Oh my God, and look at where Slamovich is dragging Grace up to the apron here. Oh my God. Whoa, 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 wait. Is there a power bomb or a pile driver here? Either oh. way, it's bad oh. news. Oh! Went back to the left leg, went back to the left knee of Slamovich. Oh my no God. No way, no way. Grace here looking for maybe a muscle buster. Up. No way. Oh my God. Going up off the stairs here. Both competitors stirring. Nine. Count of nine, Slamovich goes down. Grace is the last knockout standing. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner of the last knockout standing. And still, knockouts world champion, Jordan Grace. This was unreal. The brutality jumped up a notch after the first encounter at Bound for Glory. What a last knockout standing match. So Jordan Grace retains the Knockouts World Championship. She put Masha Slamovich down for the count of 10, put her through that door. Physical match, violent match. In the end, Jordan Grace retains, and I think Jordan Grace is doing a great job as the Knockouts World Champion. More Knockouts action we saw at Overdrive. Yeah, right. The last rodeo, Mickey James would take on Taylor Wilde. Would the last rodeo ride on? Let's find out. Maybe a first time of her matchup, but clearly knows her opponent. Oh, now James. Gonna slip down the back. Here's the cover to end James' career. No, James no, 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 no. to be wild and a kick out. Oh, and a knee right to the face of James. Just fold Mickey James over. And James might be out of it. And now Wild. Oh, oh. but face first off the flapjack. And Mickey James is back to her feet. What a recovery by James. Bruins, she will not go quietly into the night here. And now Mickey James is going for the turnbuckle. Has got Taylor Wilde down here at overdrive. Hold on a second. Yeah. Wilde able to take away the footing of James. Cuts Mickey James yeah. off at the pass. And now, oh, oh God. That boot to the face. And now Mickey James finds herself in a dangerous position, precarious position, if you will. James is trying to hang on here, avoid a catastrophe, potentially falling out of the ring altogether. Wilde's got control of James. Oh, down to the canvas goes 
goes wild. Great counter there by James. Now, Nikki James looked to finish what she started here. No. Off the top. Now, Wild rushes in. Oh, and the kick. And now, Wild. Oh, Wild ride. Could it be? Wild ride. Kick out by James. James' career continues. Just barely hanging in there. But the damage to the back. Now, the camel clutch. And this is where it could all pay off. All uh -oh. that work to the lower back. Wait, Wait what? James was able to get out of it, found a way out of the Campbell clutch. The flexibility on behalf of Mickey James there, saving her. Oh. And now James, oh, he's going for the Mick kick. Great counter there from oh. Wild. Strong back elbow, holding on to the jeans. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, 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 Counter from James. Got it. DJ. Cover. The last rodeo continues. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Mickey James. What a matchup between Wild and James tonight in overdrive. One more notch on the fence post of the last rodeo here for Mickey James. A short bow of respect to her opponent, first time ever, Taylor Wilde, but wait. You're the one person, I'll give it to you, Mickey, you're the one person I have yet to be here at Impact Wrestling, and that changes now. I'm not, I'm not just looking to ruin your career, I'm looking to end it. A very, very motivated Deanna Perrazzo has declared herself to be the one that will end Mickey James' career. I, I, one of the themes of the night at Overdrive was people coming out and doing things that nobody expected. Deanna Perrazzo add her name to that list because she came out and she said, enough is enough with you, Mickey James. You, you keep doing what you're doing, but I'm going to be the one to end you. So Deanna Perrazzo has issued a challenge to Mickey James. I'm going to be the one to end the last rodeo. I'm going to put you out for good. So we'll see what the future holds for the rivals, Deanna Perrazzo and Mickey James. So much happening here in Impact Wrestling, and it's our jobs to keep you guys up to speed with what's happening on Thursday nights. Speaking of tonight, still to come on BTI, Shira and Raj Singh versus Delirious and Yuya Uemura. But when we come back, it's our social media top five clapback moment of the week. Iceman, Intel, and more. Don't go anywhere. BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI on this beautiful Thanksgiving holiday. Giving with a G. Thanksgiving. What am I thankful for? Yeah, what are you thankful for? Are you serious? Yeah. I don't know. Give me something. You have to be thankful for something, Josh. I mean, an illustrious career. A great co host. I carved out for myself over 20 something years, working hard and diligently over and over again. Yeah. Okay, well, we're thankful for your no, work I, ethic, I don't Josh. I'm thankful for that. It's just what, what I do. Well, I'm thankful for you, Josh. Oh, well, I'm, I mean, sentiments aside. I'm I, thankful I, for you, Melissa. There's Thank no, you for keeping a, my life that's together. That's a ladder and a chair in my backpack. Okay, well, um, apparently the uh, Impact world was thankful for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Overdrive included. Let's see what was trending this week in our social media top five. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. Jordan Grace was the last knockout standing at Overdrive and still our knockouts world champion. Number four. They say a picture's worth a thousand words, but this image of Eric Young is worth a million. Number three. Deanna Perrazzo made it known at Overdrive she's got unfinished business with Mickey J. Number two. We have a new X Division champion and seemingly a new Trey Miguel. And at number one. Everyone's concerns were confirmed at Overdrive when Bully Ray attacked Josh Alexander and his wife. So from the top five, you know what I am thankful for? All the birthday wishes that I got. I didn't get one from you. No birthday wish. No happy birthday, Josh. Happy oh, birthday. I didn't think you celebrated oh, yeah. those anymore. I thought okay. you were like, <gasps> so. What, because I'm going to be 29 tomorrow? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. You know what? Let's get to that clap back. <laughs> OK, we can do that. 
I, I couldn't pass for 29? Better than the cranberry sauce. 31? 36. The clap back moment of the week is. Well, we had to know someone was gonna say, I told you so, and this week, it's Steve Macklin. So from the social media top five, clap back moment of the week, now we go to the intel. We find out what's going on in the world of Impact Wrestling, even on Thanksgiving, this guy never takes a break. Yeah, speaking of 36 million, I said. 30 years ago. I can just leave. Yeah, you're there's, there. there's no, I'm not in a glass box or anything. I can just walk out and be done with all this for today. Okay. Will you get a size, man? Iceman! You know Take us away. Even if I were doing Take this? Intel. Give us your intel, Iceman. Give us your intel. All of it. Welcome to Iceman's Intel and to all our American friends, Happy Thanksgiving. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get into it. Last week at Overdrive, Bully Ray called the shot, challenging Josh Alexander for the world title. Hard to kill live on pay-per-view. Now what he did was disgusting. He attacked him, he tied him in the ropes, but it got worse. I mean, this guy is vile. He went to the front row where his wife was sitting with his son and he kidnapped her. He even threatened to power bomb her. Disgusting. But what happened after the show went off the air is we had Rich Swan and Scott Demore come out to help the family to help Josh. So here's what I can confirm. Josh Alexander has requested some time off so he can spend with his family, so he will not be in the impact zone next week. But the upper management, I'm getting rumbles and rumors, so here's your intel. Next week in the impact zone, Bully Ray will be there. And I'm hearing he'll have to take on Rich Swan. So I hope Rich gets a little bit of revenge. That's your intel for this week. I'm George Iceman. Ladies and gentlemen, the following tag team contest set for one fall. Introducing team number one, Raj Singh and the Indian Lion, Shira. Welcome inside the Impact Zone here in Louisville, Kentucky, inside Old Forester's Paris Town Hall. I'm Tom Hannafin. My broadcast colleague, Matthew Raywalt, will be joining me for this special Thanksgiving edition of Impact Wrestling once Access TV begins at 8 p.m. Eastern. Right now, set for a tag team matchup. Singh and Shira, as of late, have had their opportunities in the tag team ranks on Access TV and BTI, are just trying to put it all together. I know personally, having spoken to both Singh and Shira, the two of them are still pretty ticked off with the recent interaction Singh had with the now new digital media champion, Joe Hendry. I know that's in the sights of Singh and Shira, but this evening, they're gonna have to focus up on what is a very unique tag team about to be across the ring from them. is back here at Impact Wrestling. We have not seen him since September, October, the event surrounding the Victory Road event where he challenged then X Division champion Mike Bailey and appeared on Access TV as well. Delirious can, well, throw a curveball into your plans. Very curious how he does with his tag team partner. His tag team partner representing New Japan Pro Wrestling, Yuya Yurimura. So it's Singh and Shira to take on the rather unconventional team of Yurimura and Delirious next here on BTI. And we are back here on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. This is BTI, a special Thanksgiving edition as Delirious starts things off against Raj Singh here in tag team action. We've got some, uh, I guess you could call it international flavor. I don't know where Delirious exactly is from. But, uh, we've got some international flavor here on this Thanksgiving edition of BTI. And of course, in fact, this begins at the top. 
top of the hour, 8 p.m. Eastern on Access TV. Here's a cover by Delirious and a kick out by Singh. As I mentioned before the break, Singh and Shira have been trying to climb in the tag team ranks. Meanwhile, Delirious teaming up with Yuya Uemura. Uemura, of course, starred in the X Division Championship Tournament recently and it culminated at Overdrive, the brand new X Division Champion in Trey Miguel under controversial circumstances. Right now, uh, oh, Delirious got out into the slap schedule. Now Singh and dropped. Now Delirious taking control of this matchup and uh, this is a very exciting time of year obviously today is thanksgiving in the united states but also black friday is tomorrow we invite you to check out shopimpact.com the black friday sale begins at 8 p.m eastern once impact wrestling goes live on access tv and it runs through 9 a.m eastern this saturday november 26th you can get 20 percent off dvds micro brawlers and dog tags at shopimpact.com as a part of our black friday sale Oh! Oh! I'll take the wind right out of the sails of Singh as Delirious lays into his opponent. Now Delirious taken down with a back elbow by Singh. Singh talking trash with Yuya. Uh, now look at this, Singh getting the attention of the official and Shira taking a cheap shot here at Delirious. This is what Singh and Shira have become as a tag team. Happy to cut corners to get ahead. And now Shira with big shot to Delirious and the official was on the opposite side of the ring checking on Yuya Uemura who was ticked off by the actions of Raj Singh. The official trying to quell the storm that is Yuya didn't see the actions of Shira. Blah, 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 blah. This guy's a moron. Well, now look at Delirious gets to the corner. I don't know if Singh realizes who he's dealing with but right now. Face to face with Yuya Uemura. Uemura, of course, representing New Japan Pro Wrestling here in Impact Wrestling. Now Singh trying to slow down the young hotshot here in Impact. On a knee right to the back as the official was checking on Delirious, who's down on the outside. Singh in front to Shira and Uemura drops Singh and takes a shot at Shira. And Yuya starting to find his footing here in 2022. Of course, as we wind down this year, we hope you'll join us next year in the greater Orlando, Florida area in January as Impact Wrestling presents New Year's Revolution cover and a kick out. New Year's Revolution is on Friday, January 20th and on Saturday the 21st. Tickets go on sale for these events tomorrow morning. Check out ImpactWrestling.com for tickets. Oh, and look at the teamwork of Singh and Shira. Uemura throat first into the top row. And now a tag made, in comes the Indian Lion, and this is where things can change in a hurry for this tag team matchup. Shira, who is frequently here in the Louisville area, so has uh, been recognized pretty quickly by the fans here inside Old Force Paris Town Hall. Not exactly making a lot of friends as he tags in Raj Singh. Oh. Oh, a trap in the elbow right to the back of the neck. Pretty good symmetry here between Singh and Shira. Singh is legal. Here's the cover in the face, making it difficult for Yuya to, Yu to kick out, but he does. And a tag made, back in comes Shira. Frequent tags here, very, very smart by Shira and Singh. And we are, of course, still feeling the fallout from what happened last week at Overdrive, which is available on demand right now on Impact Plus. And as a result of Overdrive, we know the main event. But well, the next time we'll be live on Pay Per View and Fight TV. We hope you'll join us in Atlanta, Georgia for the first Impact Wrestling event of 2023, the fourth annual Hard to Kill. As I mentioned, live on Pay Per View and Fight TV, Friday, January 13th, and on Saturday, January 14th, the fallout from Hard to Kill. Tickets are on sale now at ImpactWrestling.com. And we know at Hard to Kill, Bully Ray will call his shot and challenge for the Impact World Championship against Josh Alex Sutter that night in Atlanta. And that's why I'm the man.
Now Singh is feeling himself here and trying to take out Yuya, but this tag team matchup continues. Obviously, plenty of headlines coming out of the Overdrive event. We'll dive into that as Impact Wrestling begins on Access TV at the top of the hour. Of course, a special Thanksgiving edition of Impact Wrestling. As we look back on some of the more fun memories in the history of Impact on Thanksgiving, and a beautiful drop kick there by Yuya has got Raj Singh down, and a chance for Uemura. Delirious wants the tag, but look at Shira getting involved. Try to prevent Yuya from getting to the corner and a kick to the side of the face. Shira out of the ring and a tag made. Here comes the madman, Delirious. Speaking absolute gibberish, I have no idea what's happening, but right now it's Delirious who's in charge against Raj Singh. Whipped across the ring. Big clothesline by Delirious. Face first into the top turnbuckle. And Delirious whipped into the corner this time by Singh. Oh, back elbow. Oh! Big forearm, and now look at Delirious go. Oh, shot to the throat. And now Delirious ducks underneath and up. This is where Delirious can be dizzying. Raj Singh trying to keep up with Delirious. Oh, and he gets dropped. <laughs> the warped mind of Delirious taking Raj Singh for a ride mentally and physically in this matchup. And right now, just trying to corral Singh. Oh, and there's Shira. A big 250, 260 pounder Shira attacking Delirious from behind the official, admonishing Shira to get him out of the ring. And a tag is now made. Shira's legal into the matchup. Oh, boom. Her foot right to the face, rather, I should say. And now Delirious. Oh, gets out of the way. Sing inadvertently into Shira. Inverted atomic drop. DDT by Delirious and a tag made to Yuya Uemura. And Yuya relatively fresh here in this matchup after dealing with Singh and Shira earlier on. Oh, a shot. oh and a kick right to the face by Shira. Uemura giving up a little bit of size. Oh, but certainly has the strength for the German suplex. Cover, and it's broken up by Singh. Boy, Yuya showing great strength there. Took a sheer up, and now Delirious trying to control Singh. From behind, oh, and a stop to the exposed foot. Very smart there by Singh. Oh, and a back elbow. Up on the shoulders, and look at Raj Singh. Oh, man. The knee right to the back of the neck. Up to Lirius. And now Yuya trying to get involved here and stick up for his team, but this is a two-on-one opportunity for Singh and Shiro, the official checking on Delirious. Oh, oh wait a minute. Look at Shira and Singh. Big four-on smashes. And now the setup. They call this Kala Jadu. That's Black Magic Punjabi. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, Raj Singh and the Indian Lion, Shira. An important victory in the tag team ranks. Great effort by Delirious and the young Yuya Uemura, but it's Singh and Shira victorious here on BTI. Great exclusive action right here this week on BTI. Tom and Matt, thank you guys very much. And speaking of being thankful, we are thankful that it is Thanksgiving. And this is the part of the night where you go back, right? You get some leftovers and you you hope all of your, your family has left your house, your in-laws get, my get, get out. It's over, get out of my home. Yep. You've been here all day. The turkey coma. You watch my football. Now you gotta leave. Yep. It's like, you Come for the get, turkey get off, coma. Get off. You know what, I will. I'm gonna go look for that turkey okay. suit and uh, I'll get back to you. The turkey suit yep. that is not here. I hey. promise you it's not here, but she's right. gonna find it somewhere. And we thank you guys for joining us here 
This week on BTI for GM Miller, I'm Josh Matthews. Enjoy this special look back at all things Thanksgiving right here, right now on Impact Wrestling.